Hello everyone and welcome back to Next Space Rebels where we are going to see what kind of power set they are going to unveil here. Let's just watch the video first if it plays. Um, maybe I should have gone to... Oh. Oop, game crashed. I tried to play the video but then the game crashed. So I, I hope I haven't done anything too bad. But here's the video. And Radik invited me. He said he wanted to show me something. This is what the future of our internet looks It looks a little bit big, this, this satellite. This is what we call a power sat. It's a satellite that I've developed alongside the community um, that we're going to launch into low Earth orbit using our very own rockets. We're gonna yeah, you do that. Give me a cube sat. Eventually, when they form their own herd over 100 kilometers up, they'll form a brand new alternative satellite constellation around the globe. This is the infrastructure for our own next space Rebels network. And we can make these power sets at the fraction of the cost of the one Star Connect sweat over. And given time, they work just as well. Uh, better. <laughs> In a few days' time, we're going to launch a bunch okay, of them well... that you might be able to see with an interstellar telescope. <laughs> what? What? Wait, wait, what? That's not how that works. That's not how that works. All the plans and blueprints you need are openly available online. Okay. Downloading data, building ground stations all around the globe as we speak. But in reality, they protect the magic box inside. A satellite okay, I, I sense a lot of nonsense. So, um, uh, okay, okay, uh, yes, all right, okay, let's just talk to him this way. All right, launch satellite, yes, all right, fine, but it's bigger than I wanted. You guys should have just done CubeSats. Space Rebel Satellite, okay, work of art, right. Bloody big thing, so you'll need extra power, yes. You don't need a separate decoupler, the satellite can do that all by itself. Okay, well that does make things easier. Because the decouplers are heavy. I'll steer the satellite from NSR headquarters as soon as it's in low Earth orbit. Okay. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm in charge of launching things. Oh, there's a D. You might want to place the satellite on the nose of... Uh, yeah, yeah... Yeah. But not too much. This needs to go right. Uh, Alright, well, but, you know, it's cheap enough that we can launch more than one, right? Because it's probably going to go wrong first. We don't get any uh, points for it, apparently, so we might want to do the advertisement stunt first, but let's see. Let me see how big this thing is. Um, so is it under NSR? Oh, maybe... Oh, it counts as kinetic because... Wow! Wow, it's 150 kilograms. Okay, well, we might have to examine the ability of... Oxidize... Uh, our ability to use oxidizer. Because we're not launching something 150 kilograms like that. Ooh. Yeah. We might have to do all available challenges to make that happen. But I did mean to test how oxidizer would help or hurt. So what we're going to do is just replace, straight replace this tank with oxidizer and see what happens, basically. We know what happens when there's a fuel tank there, after all. So this will be very simple. Okay, so let's see what oxidizer does for us. At least on this stage. It might be better to have the oxidizer on the upper stage and maybe use the jet, for instance. But we'll see. So, now with oxidizer. Let's see what happens. Go. But I did want to test a fuel-only thing as baseline. Everything is about testing hypotheses. And I had a hypothesis. Well, uh, I think it's safe to say that that is worse performance with the oxidizer, as I sort of expected. But maybe in the upper stage, if we replace, well, I don't, there's not much to replace, but if we place some oxidizer in the upper stage, we might get something better. But we are not making it to orbit like this, so... The straight replacement of a fuel tank with an oxidizer tank did not help anything. Now, of course, with a single stage, that's a whole different story, after all. 
Okay, so this leaves us about 2.6 kilometers per second short. Uh, anything interesting? Uh, there's a viral tag for some reason. Hey, I'll probably get better on this than I did with the orbital velocity one. Um, hypersonic, I guess, because we haven't done that recently. We're laying off the hate here. Okay. Apparently we get a different tank when we hit 50,000. Wow, that was a lot of views. Well, we just magically got to 50,000. All right. We are now an activist. Okay, well, let's see what that means for us. Next space activist. Uh, you misspelled it. You misspelled activist. You had one job. <laughs> you had one job there. Uh, oh, anyway. Uh, no different from before. More active. I'm very active now. Uh, I don't have anything to say. Hydrogen tank. <laughs> now that's fuel for you. That is great. So this is apparently what somebody mentioned as a new tank. Space Rebels for Life. So let's see about this tank. Maybe this will help. Let's continue to set that as our goal. What sort of tank is this? This is a 300 kilogram tank with plenty of fuel feed. That's important. Dry mass is less than that of the truck fuel tank. So it has more fuel and less dry mass. So that's all good. Let's, uh, let's... First of all, I want to test the oxygen on the upper stage. I have a theory, and we are going to test that theory. Why did it look like it was, like, very rebellious? Anyway, I just want the rocket. We're going to uh, put back the fuel tank. Okay. So, the first stage is basically the same now as it was before. But the second stage, we are going to sneak some oxygen on. But we don't need the big oxygen tank for that. We'll want this oxygen cylinder and... Uh, let's get rid of this tank first. I don't know if we have enough complexity to do this though. Um, car fuel tank, right? And this. Okay, so if we can get a connector, we can manage this. Okay, that works. Uh, okay, that doesn't work. How close can we cut this? Most delicate piping. Okay, we have it done. So we have one of those oxygen tanks up here. And we will see... I don't know if this setup is balanced at all. <laughs> uh, probably not. So let's shift that just a little bit. Okay, arrow is clear. Piping needs fixing on the lower level. Okay, we are all connected up again. Let's see how this works. This is, again, another experiment. And then we'll see about the integration of the hydrogen tank and what it can do for us. Uh, cluster engines, the first stage compact engine as the oxygen. All right, go. Well, overall, I think the fact that it's carrying the oxidizer tank on top is maybe weighing down the first stage a bit more. But we can see what the upper stage itself can do. The oxidizer. Now, again, it's possible to replace with the one of the jet engines. Instead of the engine we've got. But those tend to have lower ISP or efficiency. So it might not be the best thing. This is pretty bad, actually. I'm surprised. The performance we're getting right now. Must be a really overburdening upper stage, but I didn't think so. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's enough oxidizer. I mean, this seems just completely messed up this time. So, yeah, I, I, I think the oxidizer tanks might not be the best thing. Aurora, apparently. Well, I'll just toss that on. Yep. I'm not sold on those tanks. 
Museum revenue. Okay, well, talk to me. Amazing museum n news. Our viewer... Visitor, sorry, not viewer. Visitor count has more than doubled. From one to two? Uh, no, I'm interested. Uh, we need one. We need a plan. It's a trash museum. Oh no, cryptocurrencies. I knew... Knew there was gonna be cryptocurrencies. Uh, I'm listening. My part. I want it in dollars, though. Oh, to revolutionary? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm becoming a revolutionary for the money. This, this... Uh, whatever. Uh, okay, well. Checking if there's any interesting parts. Since we're talking money, I might as well see whether I can buy anything interesting. Not so much. Of course, there's the ultimate engine, which they tempt us with. Alright. So. The nice fuel tank. This guy. That looks big. Actually, let's continue to open up the previous rocket. Why why do why do my my videos have this icon on them now? What's that about? Okay, he was the prove myself rocket. All right, so what can we do? Well, let's just uh, replace some of these here. We probably don't need the pumps. And if we need to add a pump, we can, but, I mean, we've got space down here, too. So, but we've got two of those tanks connected up. And maybe we should use one of them up here. That's pretty heavy, then. But it's worth accommodating, I think. Okay, so straight up replacement with hydrogen tanks. No oxidizer. We've got some complexity room for potentially adding some pumps. And we're just gonna see where it goes. Um, there is no aerodynamic issue that we can see. So let's find out. Uh, yep, let's go. Now if it underperforms our orbital rocket, we know something weird is going on here. But for now, let's see how it goes. In fact, right now, uh, it's still questionable whether we're going to hit 4 kilometers per second on this stage. But then again, we're carrying a heavier stage this time with the upper stage. It is definitely heavier by 100 kilograms or so. Okay, staging. Uh oh, we ex we got some stress. Now, somebody thought that it was the first stage breaking up, but that wouldn't explain why the compact engine stops. So, I think the first stage, the upper stage, actually did break up there. Um. All right. Well, it is a heavy tank and everything. Now, well, let's see. Blackbird. Fine. Double barrel. Very much so. All right. Well, we might as well get views while we can. Well, that was not a lot of follows, though. Now, previously we had diminished distress by reducing the number of turbo pumps, but we have no turbo pumps. So, we have a little bit of a bind here, as far as that's concerned. We have no ability to de-stress this at the moment. Okay, let me finish the conversation with this rocket striptease thing, just out of curiosity. So, yes it is. I, I agree, okay. Uh, let's keep it at this one. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Okay, so that just wrapped up like that. Um, I think I should try the one stage. I mean, I did the two stage thing to get to orbit. Let's try, let's see what one stage will get us. 
let me just keep this, let's just get this simple. So I'm gonna start from scratch. I'm actually going to add the satellite. Okay. Oh, it's got propulsion parts? What what propulsion parts are we talking about? Hmm. Okay. I don't see any propulsion parts. Said we didn't need a decoupler, right? Okay. I don't know if we're going to need a pump or not. Well, we've got four tanks set up here. Let's move these down. We're obviously going to need fins otherwise. Um, that can get tucked in a little bit more. And lightest possible structure there. Oh, we should have gimbling. Right. Um, so we will have the swivel. Some structure and an engine and more fins and aerodynamics is fine if a little bit off to one side. So there's a single stage rocket, four fuel tanks, that heavy satellite on top. I don't see any particular problems here. 1.5 tons, 1.6 tons really. And our most efficient engine. Well, let's just see what happens with this. Maybe I'll just get it done. Who knows. Well, it's standing. It's bulky. This is a firm stance sort of thing here. Okay, launch. Oh, it's frisky. We might want to gate that a little bit. I mean, uh... I want to do something. I don't know what to do with it. Yeah, it's probably going to have a lot of stress. That is a lot of power. Yeah, the satellite just fell off. <laughs> okay, so we need to... Can we have a fuel regulator kind of thing? Some... Something to reduce the speed. The fuel flow. We'll need to have a cutoff thing. For two tanks. So I'll have to have a gate. Basically turn two tanks into a separate stage. I mean of course we can dump tanks. But it's a good question whether we need to do that. I think I should just go high. Maybe... We should just try and have a height record. Let's see how high this gets without any payload. Just go follow. Have no payload now. It's their fault for making a satellite that doesn't stay on. Right? Got more vertical speed than we need horizontal speed. We got all the things. We got the 7.8 kilometers. Let's see what kind of height we get. This might take a while. Better get some records. I mean, if we take our components, is that escape velocity yet? Hold on. See, 11.42 kilometers per second. And that's pretty close. So I'll have to look up the exact number. Escape velocity is 11.186 kilometers per second, and taking both of our components together at our peak, we had 11.42. So, yeah, I think we actually reached escape velocity there. We gotta somehow manage to come back down despite that? I don't know. You're going to see how round this planet is. It's not Earth. It's got Earth-like qualities, but it isn't Earth. So maybe its escape velocity is different. We can allow for that. 1,000 kilometers. Well, that's 1,400 kilometers now. That's how the world looks. And we're still going. 
we got to set plenty of records. Whether I'm going to get any good tags out of it. I should have kept buying tags, shouldn't I have? Well, it's a bit disappointing, but it looks like we'll peter out at about 1,600 kilometers here. I don't think it does, you know, full-on orbital mechanics or anything like that. Okay, it's going down 1,622 kilometers. Let's see what we've got here. Record speed 5.86 kilometers per second. Even our vertical speed alone was faster than that. So, I don't know. But, we got a record altitude and record distance. Should be able to get even larger distance, to be honest. I wonder how it would be going down. It's interesting. Because we reached orbital velocity, right? I should have waited. But, I mean, it, was, it would have been a long time, right? We'd have to wait to see whether I actually reached orbit, but... Yeah, uh, the way it's reading velocity is interesting. But anyway, let's just leave it be. Exosphere, we reached an altitude of 690 kilometers. Satellite, for using a satellite. Well, we did, briefly, before it dropped off. Okay, and that should be fine. Wait, did it count it as fulfilling the challenge? Wait. Did it count as fulfilling the challenge? Because it says participated in. Doesn't it only usually do that if you succeed? Why does it never show me my videos anymore? That was a success? Guys. I'm confused. I think something has gone horribly wrong. I, Satellite 99 had told me that if I didn't watch a video properly, I might make a mis uh, there might be a problem, and I'm worried that that's what's happened. Hmm. Can I get another tag? We got slide. That's nothing. That's not a very good tag. Maybe we only get one of these satellites to launch? Well, I'm, I'm gonna try it again anyway. Gosh darn it. So, we had too much stress. I'm gonna do what I planned, which was to gate these two tanks. And that'll limit our thrust weight ratio initially. Okay, so those two tanks will not engage initially, so they will not provide the fuel flow, and so our thrust should be effectively cut in half, and we'll see whether the, uh, the satellite at the top survives that. I still don't know whether we can carry it to orbit. It's a pretty heavy load. We we are at, you know, 1.6 tons, and it is a 150 kilogram satellite, so, you know, it, it depends on how I read the efficiency of this engine, because right now it's conceivable to me that this is actually reading effectively 600 seconds of ISP, or uh, 6, 000, um, exhaust velocity of 6,000 meters per second. If that's the case, this could be uh, capable of launching 10% of its mass to orbit. But, well, let's see what we've got here. We don't have the challenge anymore, though. So, yeah. Now we're in a field again. <laughs> because of the challenge, I suppose. I think it's underestimating us. And it's got the wrong stuff here, because it's not got the challenge that I was trying to do. Oh, we're not going too badly right now. Okay, next engines. Not en not engines. Next tanks. We could decouple the two tanks that are spent, of course. I think the conditions for the challenge might have been bad. They said include the satellite and then reach orbit. They didn't necessarily say reach orbit with the satellite. I don't know. 
Oh, I think we're going too high this time. Okay, yeah, we went way high. I think if we don't do that with this single stage rocket, we've got it. I don't see a good mathematical way of doing a two stage rocket to get this payload to orbit with the complexity level that we have available to us. Yeah, I doubt that that will be the case. Let's retry the launch here and actually fulfill the orbit and all that stuff. Let's see if I can do that a little bit better. The problem is uh, the logical second stage would still be the same engine. So, because of its efficiency. So there's really no point in the second stage. Not with something this heavy. Okay, second set of tanks. Okay... Horizontal speed well above 7.8 kilometers per second, and we will get beyond 160 kilometers here in the fullness of time. So there we go. I don't know if they're gonna take control of the satellite now, or whether... Yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna finish. Uh, I, I think I've messed up. I think I've messed up. I'm gonna say satellite again. I know you're not supposed to use it if it's fuzzed out there, but darn it, we gotta throw in Karma Online, Hypersonic, the whole works. Shark. <laughs> well, we got plenty of views from it anyway, even though we reused the tags. Okay. Yeah, I think things have gone horribly wrong. But I'll let you guys tell me what to do about it, if anything. What if we have to start all over again? That's what Satellite 999 had said. <laughs> this is bad. Oh no. Okay, well, yep. Yeah, please advise on details. Maybe that's why I got the bad bad thumbnail. Maybe that's why I get the bad... Well, but this one doesn't have a bad thumbnail. But maybe th that's why those got a bad thumbnail? I don't know. I don't know. They're not talking to me anymore. Oh well. Okay, so yes, please advise what to do about this situation. I do not know what to do. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.